In this video, I'm going to be installing macOS 10.6 Snow Leopard onto my 2007 17-inch MacBook Pro. Alright guys, so I just did an unboxing of this on iTech Everything. Check that out if you want to see it. And I've got it booted up here into Lion, and I'm going to install Snow Leopard. So the first thing to do is to insert the disc into the DVD drive. Like so. Wait for it to spin up. And I'm going to wipe Lion off this machine and install Snow Leopard. Because I prefer Snow Leopard, at least for now anyway. So what I want to do is restart the laptop. Hit restart. And then hold down the option key. So I'm holding down the option key right now on the keyboard. And then once it restarts, it will give me the option to boot from the CD. There goes the bong. I'm still holding down the option key. And there you can see it says Macintosh HD, Recovery HD, and Mac OS X Install Disk. We'll go ahead and click on Mac OS X Install Disk, right there. And now it will load from the Snow Leopard Disk. There we go. We'll use English as the main language. It says preparing installation. Install Mac OS X. First I want to fully wipe the disk, go up into utilities, then disk utility. And I want to fully wipe this hard drive. Go ahead and click on here. Click on Arrays, Mac OS Extended Journaled. And I'll call it Macintosh HD. So Macintosh HD, I'll then go into security options, and I'll zero out the data, click OK, and click Erase. So I'll be back once it's finished erasing the hard drive. So I have finished wiping the hard drive, now I can quit out of disk utility. and install Mac OS X. Go ahead and click agree to all the terms. Install it on Macintosh HD, click that. And I just want to customize the install. So I will install QuickTime 7, I won't install Rosetta, uh, I don't want additional fonts, because that's just a waste of space, I only speak English, so we turn that off. And printer support, um, I can turn that off because you can just download the printer drivers for your particular printer, rather than wasting, you know, a ton of space, because that is, uh... Oh, wow, so yeah, that's 
13 gigabytes just for printer drivers, so I'll turn that off. As for language translations, 1.2 gigabytes, I can turn that off. And that's it. Okay. And install. So now it says installing macOS 10 on the disk Macintosh HD. So it just finished installing, now it says install succeeded. So let's go ahead and restart the Mac. And that took about 20 minutes, so pretty much it took the time that it said it was going to take. And there's the welcome video. <laughs> Giving us a welcome to Snow. I'm in Australia. Alright guys, so I'll go ahead and set this up and I'll see you when I'm finished. So that's about it for this video guys. Drop a comment down below, click that subscribe button right above this video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as I really appreciate it. And follow me on Twitter over at twitter.com slash iTechEverything. See you guys in the next video.